What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the bottom right hand corner of Dreamcatcher Ali, playing with the blue Zerg pieces. He's currently up in the series and wants to close it out. His name is Cyril. And his opponent spawning in the cross position playing with the red Zerg pieces. She wants to get this series back in her favor. Her name is Scarlet. So guys, you guys can check out all these games on the YouTube channel right now. And I'm really interested to see what Scarlet's going to decide to do in this game simply because, you know, when you're down but you're not out of it quite yet, what do you do in these situations? And I'm very interested to see what she decides to do here uh, in this game. Uh, Cyril, guys, um, is like an absolute force to be reckoned with. I mean, we all know this. I mean, this is the, the current best StarCraft II player in the world currently. And uh, Scarlet, though, is, is, is no, you know, is definitely an incredible player as well. She has proven herself time and time again that she is one of the best out there with the Zerg pieces. And, and, and like, and, you know, even... Taking away all of that, she's one of the fan favorites of, of everyone out there who really enjoys watching StarCraft. Lots of fans of Scarlet's. So, that being said, guys, looks like the hatch gas pool is going to be coming up here for uh, both players here. And I wonder if Scarlet's going to go for a little bit of some cheese in this game. I mean, Cyril in the first few games has just done absolute... Uh, br utter brilliance, man. I mean, I just, some of his play is out of this world incredible. Um, he, he just plays such a, in, such incredible games, man. I mean, you can never count this guy out, even if something looks completely out of the ordinary. Uh, he just, he plays a very well fought matchups. So, it looks like uh, Cyril's going to get a couple of queens. It looks like the production tabs are very similar once again between these two players usually gets uh, to be a little bit different uh, later on into the game. Um, I just wonder who's going to try to strike fir first here. That's the big question. Who strikes first in this game of ZVZ? Uh, Scarlet is, uh, you know, I, I think that she very well might put some aggression onto Sarah. I, I, I would not surprise me one bit if she was the one who really put on the major amounts of, uh, of aggression in this game. So we'll have to see none the less here what they decide to do. What ends up happening here between uh, these two players? Looks like the Evolution Chamber is going to be coming down here for Scarlet. Uh, same thing can be said for Cyril. He's going to go ahead. He's going to get his Roach Horn. Uh, he's getting the Evolution Chamber um, as well as the Lair. So very similar builds here. Once again, you guys can check that out. The builds are very similar, and it looks like Cyril just wants to get a little bit more information here, to say the least. And uh, this entire series, man, Scarlet has uh, has been kind of playing from behind, um, you know, as far as information goes, as far as all that stuff goes. But um, you know, maybe she's gonna. Maybe she'll um, have a little bit more luck, to, so to speak, in this game. She's got her lair up at this point already. And the question I'm wondering is, is what kind of, what type of choice is she going to be going for here? Looks like uh, Digging Claws is going to be coming up here for the Roaches. And uh, Cyril has, uh, you know, Cyril's just, you know, playing a very standard game. Scarlet, we need to see kind of what she's planning on doing. She is getting her... Um, of course, her Zergling speed upgrade, and she's going for a Spire. Okay, I like that a lot. I really like that decision making because now we're seeing the third base come up here for Cyril, and he obviously does not know about this quite yet. And I'm wondering what this is going to trigger when Cyril sees that she is getting uh, the Spire. I'm assuming mutas are what she's going to be using here in this game. Um, what, what she's probably going to go for. The third base is going to be coming up here very, very soon. Should be interesting to say the least between these two players. Metabolic boost is completed now. Oh, man. I think Cyril uh, might be in a heap of trouble here if he doesn't find out about this soon. Because all he has, guys... 
is a bunch of roaches. So, what do you do in this situation if you're Serral? Do you decide to go for an all-in? Or do you decide to just play, play as well good a defense as you possibly can? And the Overseer saw it. Very beautiful scout there. But the question is, is it going to be enough time here? serral has got to, you know, put down some spores. Exactly what he's doing, at least at this point. Um, but the question is, okay, now we got some of the air upgrades coming up here. She's got some mutas coming out. She's going to start putting on some of the aggression here. The spores are coming up here for on on all of these uh, bases for, for Serral. So he got an absolutely critical scout there, which I think is really going to help him later on in the game. The question is, though, is, is it going to be, you know, um, could, could she do a lot of damage here? And it looks like he's playing his, uh, his opponent like a buck. I mean, she's already coming over onto the opposite side of the map. She's going to see that there is some spore crawlers out. Um, but it's just, uh, this is just textbook play by, by, by Serral. I mean, it's just, it's textbook. He's getting the Hydra Den out um, right now. And that Hydra Den is going to, of course, shoo away any of these, um, you know, mutas. The mutas are very, you know, supply heavy. She's going to go ahead and get that fourth base. I mean, it's just, this is what Serral does, guys. Serral plays these games, and he just knows his opponent so well. Uh, it's incredible. The uh, Lurker Den's going to be coming up here now as well for Serral. So he's feeling pretty confident right now in his play. Plus two is going to be coming up here for both players. The Roly Poly upgrade for the Banelings. I don't know, man. I, I, I like the position once again here for Serral. I, I really do. I love the position he's in right now. This can change very, very quickly. But the question I'm wondering is, is what do you do in this situation? He is, uh, is Sarah, that is Scarlet is getting a couple of drones for her troubles. And she's getting more and more of these mutalisks. Um, he's, she's got a bunch of zerglings over here that are probably going to try to come down and start uh, nibbling away at, at, this, uh, at this mineral line over here. These mutas are trying to find an angle here. She's got her fourth base up and running here. And I mean, when you look at this, it looks like Serral is really playing his opponent like an absolute book, which is very true. But I'm wondering if she's going to go for a very quick push here. There's a good chance. Very nice defuse. Absolutely beautiful defuse. Not losing that that Hydra for free. And there's a lot of Banelings. You got to be careful right now. If you are Serral, there is a lot of Banelings coming. This is going to be a huge push here by our uh, blue Zerg player. I think uh, Scarlet is absolutely playing this absolutely beautifully right now. She's doing an absolutely incredible job here. The Zerglings as well as the Banelings are coming into the main base, uh, natural base location here. Scarlet is playing this very well, and GG is called. And Scarlet takes advantage of having, you know, building up a big force there and pushing at a perfect moment, catching Serral a little bit off guard. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Serral and Scarlet. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for new, stay positive, and as always, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.